All right. So you have your app. It's all set up. You have a, it works. All right. But you don't like your website. It has this boring template that I left here and you want to change that. So from the last tutorial, if you remember, we did set up um, the repository and we cloned it on our computers. So that's where it's going to come clutch. And just to use this as a reference, we do have documentation on how to customize certain things and how to add custom pages and different things. So um, in this instance, I don't like this page. So what am I going to do about it? I'm going to probably make some edits. So here, in order to do so, as you can see in our Keybot tutorial folder, um, in order to do so, it's pretty simple. So if you go underneath your views folder and you create a folder called extras, Whoopsie. There you go. Well, there's already one there, but usually there isn't. You go underneath here and you create a folder called extras. You can edit it. And um, in your text editor, if you type in code, and you go underneath that extras, all you have to do is you can take the template that we have here, which has quite some important stuff here, and edit this folder or this file and you can make your own changes so um, let's see what changes can we make uh, you know what we'll just make this a uh, hello world I don't know but we'll just remove that and we'll just make it say hello world right um, but a couple things, uh, let's say uh, we want to add an image or something or anything of that nature. It's it's pretty simple. So you can add resources such as JavaScript, CSS, or images by simply going back into the folder. And if you go in the root directory, um, there's a resources folder. And usually there's going to be a directory called extras. You have CSS, um, you know, J, J, JavaScript, and all that different stuff. Um, and you can always reference it back by just doing slash resources and then the name of the directory or the image and you can easily access it. So it's as simple as that and once you're all done and you make all your changes that you want to make to your website, um, you want to edit your config file. So you can change different routes. So this is the main directory which is just slash which will be your index and you can have a four, a custom 404, you can make a slash about, any type of page that you really want. So I guess we're going to take these two and I, we can make a slash about. Um, so if we go back underneath our config file and just paste those in there, there we go, we have our index.html that we modified and then we have our slash about. So we're going to make an about page which we don't have yet. So We'll go underneath the extras directory, and I guess we can take this 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 little template I made here. This is my about page, right? And um, you know what? Why not get an image? So we'll take a random image. Let's just take this image. Um, we can simply just, I don't want to reveal anything confidential here, so I got to be a little careful. Whoopsie. And if we go back into resources, extras, geez, and just drag and drop the, the image, logo.png over there, we can reference it back. And our about page looks all set up. So we don't have a CSS file, but if you have a CSS file, you can also reference that. And like that, we have an about page. Everything's all set up. And if everything looks all good, we can deploy it. So we can just name the commit message and we'll push it to Roku. So, like always, as I said, it's usually faster whenever you do your second build or anything. Usually your initial build will take longer, but these are usually quicker. So once it's all finished and all that jazz, it will make your changes and you should be all set. 
And that's kind of the beginning of how you make edits to your templates and your pages. And it's pretty customizable. Um, let's say you have a React uh, static page. You can always put that over and things like that. So shouldn't be too much of a hassle. It is pretty simple to edit and make your changes, add images, add videos, and it is accessible all throughout the resources directory. So as you can see, it's online now. Just give it a while. At times the server takes a while to load. Like that, we have our hello world. And as you saw, we made a slash about page. This is my about page. So as you can see, that's all you gotta do, and you should be all set.